Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm waking up today feeling a little bit more rested than usual. We slept with the window open and it feels amazing. I love this fresh wind and fresh crisp air in the bedroom when waking up. I think it starts the day nicely. Last week I received one a letter from the Korean government saying that your visa is expiring, you either gotta leave the country or renew, blah blah blah. And I mean, it's not a surprise that happens literally every year. <laughs> but it's just, I don't know, last year was so stressful with the visa stuff and now uh, the time has rolled around again, so let's see. Also, it's May, so here in Korea you have to pay taxes, which is really stressful in Korea, so I've been super overwhelmed and just not feeling my best, to be honest, but it changes today. So let me take you to a cozy me day of healing from a stressful and overwhelmed week, and um, yeah, let's have fun. But let's start slow, though. Jake's dad gave us some really concentrated apple juice that you take kind of like a supplement and then his boss gave us this ginger vitamin drink and I've been mixing it every morning since and um, I don't know, it's just very refreshing. I honestly have no idea what it does despite giving some vitamins. Kind of feels like it wakes up your system in a way and I think it's just something that I'm telling myself but it feels good. Whatever works, works, you know? It's the brain that is eyes either way. I read something online that I want to read aloud for you, and it is by Brianna Pastor, and she says, You need both the light and the dark. One does not exist without the other. To sweep your darkness under the rug is to do yourself a great disservice. There is so much there is to learn. How can you feel the freedom in the sun when you have not sat for a while under the shade of the trees? Surely you can learn to appreciate both. It is learning to accept and exist in each state, to appreciate and welcome each part of you without discrediting it. We're creatures of light and of dark. That is where strength and softness make a blood pact. Basically, we have to have moments like these in order to reconnect and um, feel ourselves in a different light and catch up to ourselves. Oftentimes when I become stressed or overwhelmed with something, especially with that paper that came served to me about having to leave the country or whatever, I don't. I do have visa stuff figured out, but regardless it was stressful and a tax situation as well. My body actually sends me signals that I'm in stress and that I'm in overwhelm before my brain even realizes it. We have kind of like grown up in the society completely disconnected to our bodies and if something hurts somewhere or if you feel tight in your chest or something it's just no one is questioning why in reality it's your body speaking to you and warning you and telling you to come back down from your head which is why when i'm really feeling overwhelmed i do force myself in a sense to to just sit and be with my body if that stretches or if it's for a walk i doesn't matter, I just really love to take that moment to sit and reconnect. <laughs> requires alignment of body, mind, and soul. Coherence creates and harmonizes. 
So what happens when you have alignment of body, mind, and soul, there, there is no part of you that's out of alignment with your dreams, goals, objectives, your values. My self-care routine is sacred to me. It's my physical love bonding time with my body. The two products that are always a part of my practice is my Synth Cleanser and Oil. We're getting closer to our second anniversary since I created the Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser, and I'm still absolutely convinced that I've cracked the code for the perfect cleanser. Whether you want to remove your makeup or just give yourself a hydrating cleanse like I am now, it's absolutely perfect. It's vegan, cruelty-free, organic, and then it only has six magical ingredients in it. The Botanical Relief Oil and the Lavender Dream Oil Cleanser both have calming aromatherapeutic ingredients. Perfect for a calm start or end to your day. I've linked them both down in the description box below. Ta-da! Here we have the outfit of today. I'm feeling extremely feminine and kind of in my in my woman power right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's the loose boobs and nipples or maybe it's the flowy skirt. I don't know. I just feel good. <laughs> so I am wearing for the first time outside now my JF Avenue green top. You know, when you're not really feeling your best, you really want to wear something that makes you happy and green never disappoints me. I always, I don't know if you can feel it, but I'm already feeling a lot better right now. I just had a conversation with Sila and she just told me how much she loved me. I'm getting goosebumps. I just love. I love love and I love all of my girlfriends and they mean the world to me. So yeah, now I'm gonna go and I just packed a bag. I packed my bag with my jewelry stuff in it. So I wanna make a jewelry. Um, I'm gonna make this necklace, one for Sile and one for Stephanie. Cause I'm seeing Stephanie tonight very spontaneously. Haven't seen her in a while, so that's gonna be fun. really windy today though so I'm gonna have to block you off with the wind. <laughs> I brought my jewelry stuff. I'm really excited to make this necklace. You know the reason why I really wanted to get out is because for the past while I've been leaning back into feeling kind of bad and or empty or whatever and I've just been laying at home playing my PS4 or watching movies or really just, you know, being with myself. And I really did need that for a while because, you know, I love the quote, if you are pushing something away, you're inviting it to stay. So if we keep pushing the feeling of numbness and the feeling of not wanting to do anything away, we are just making it all worse. And so sometimes it's really helpful to just lean back into feeling bad and let go and let yourself feel like that. I'm very happy that I have the opportunity to just, you know, take some days off and lay back into my sofa for a couple of days and I think my soul really needed to figure out that that's nice for a little bit but then I really need to go out and get back into nature and get back into seeing my friends. You know, when you feel bad it's very easy to have the mindset that everything is against you and the universe doesn't want the best for you but 
we really need to get out of that circle when we're feeling bad. I mean, I've thankfully come to a place where every time I do feel bad, I still think that the universe is with me. So instead of being sad for feeling bad, I'm then trying to maybe push myself to look for what am I supposed to learn from this? Where did I burn myself out? How can I change my lifestyle rather than just rest and do it all again? We're being told that you can only feel overwhelmed, burned out, or stressed about work, school, or time limits. But in reality, we live in a monotone masculine world, where we aren't left in nature enough, where we aren't being taught how to connect to our bodies, where we can't even breathe in fresh air all of the time. There's no wonder why you feel so tired. I'm inviting you to lean back and surrender to your bodily feeling. First then, you can assess your road forward and out of this cycle. I stopped by my local organic supermarket on my way home. Taking in good food will help your body and mind deal with what you're going through. We're made to perfectly heal ourselves, so helping my body on the way makes me feel at ease. Ending this healing day with hugs from a sister is exactly what I needed to break free of the previous week's cycle. And I wish only the same or greater amount of love for you. I'll see you next week.